Hi, Jared from Visuals by Impulse here, and thank you for purchasing the Gulager Glory Warzone Wind Counter. So the first thing we're going to do to set this up in OBS is open up the main directory, and you'll see in here that we have the Gulager Glory EXE here. That's the hotkey script which controls the value of the loss and the win text files. This is simply a text file which holds the value that OBS reads from in order to make sure your counter is accurate. Before we do anything, let's open up the README. This is where you're going to find the font that we've included as well as the walkthrough for how to get started. So let's go ahead and click on the Teco and install this font family. So go ahead and download this to your computer. Install this now. Once you've installed the font, you want to go ahead and reset OBS. Now that we've restarted OBS, we'll be able to use the Teco font within OBS. So let's go ahead and launch this Gulager Glory EXE. This is going to stay within the tray down here. You'll see that this is an active auto hotkey script. And this is what's going to allow us to change the values in the loss and the win text files. So let's go over to OBS and let's create a new scene here. We'll call this the Warzone Win Loss Counter. And inside of this scene, we're going to go ahead and drag in our assets. So let's first go into the assets folder and we're going to drag in these three WebM animations. And then we're going to pop back out into our main directory and drag in the loss and the win text files that are driven by our auto hotkey script. So just to make it easier, let's go ahead and rename these layers. We're going to call this our background loop. We'll call this our loss animation. And we will go ahead and call this our win animation. Now, in order to configure this correctly, we're going to want to set some properties up. So in the background loop, let's make sure this is an actual looping animation and that we use our hardware decoding as well as close when inactive. Under the loss animation, we're going to not want this to loop, so leave that unchecked. But we do want to uncheck the restart playback when source becomes active. Otherwise, every time you come back to the scene, this animation will play. We're going to trigger that restart by ourselves with our own hotkey. So use the hardware decoding as well as close file when inactive. And we'll do the same thing with the win animation. We do not want it to loop, but we also don't want it to restart playback when the source becomes active. So let's go ahead and check these here and hit OK. The very first thing you'll notice is that the win and the loss is set to zero, and that's driven because these text files are set to zero. Now let's complete the formatting here with the layout of our text files. We're going to want to go to the properties and change the font to the Teco font we just installed. Uh, I'll set it up to medium at 72. And let's also use the custom text and set this to 200 by 65 and we'll uh, center align it. And then once that's set up, we'll drag it over to where we want it to be in the composition of our scene. And we'll do the same thing with the properties of our win text file. We will set this to Teco medium 72 and center align as well as use custom 200 at 65 and we can drop that right where we want it. So now before we lock these layers, let's go ahead and make sure our layers are in the appropriate order. We want to have the background loop on the bottom and then our win and loss animations and then the text files we want above those. So it looks like everything is good. Let's go ahead and lock these layers. And now we can create a group and we'll call this the Warzone counter. And this way we can easily tell this to be in the center of the screen. Let's center to screen. So now we have a full widget and you can now drag this wherever you'd like within your scene. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and leave it in the center. Now, a few things you're going to want to check for is inside this text, you want to make sure that this is reading from file. This is what's going to change this text value because it's reading from the win file and the loss file. So make sure the read from file is selected. Otherwise, this will never change. It'll stay zero or the value you set. So now we're going to set up our hotkeys. So if you're already running the Gulag script, you're going to want to go ahead and either pause it or exit the script that we launched earlier, because in order to set up these hotkeys, you'll need that to not be running. So go to the hotkeys menu. And now that we have this open so we can reference these animations, we'll see the loss animation is in the hotkeys menu and go to the restart section and hit control shift three which corresponds with the script. And then as well as the win animation, go to the restart and hit control shift one. Now hit apply. 
Now we can go ahead and launch our script again. And once the script is launched, the key to reset everything is control shift five. And you'll see that everything goes to zero. Now control shift one, if we got a win, cues the animation and cues the counter. Now, if we want to do a loss, we do control shift three and the animation cues. And so does the counter. So our hotkeys are control shift one adds a win. Control shift two removes a win. Control shift three adds a loss. Control shift four removes a loss and control shift five resets to zero. So now you can take this win counter, loss counter, put it wherever you want it to be for the match. And then you can go ahead and start using it. Control shift three, cues the animation, toggles the value. Control shift one does the same thing for the win column. And when you would like to restart, go ahead and hit control shift five and it will reset both of the counters to zero. Well, I really hope you enjoy using this counter. It's also possible that you can set this up as just a win counter. You can uh, set it up as a loss counter <laughs> easily like that. We also do have some updates coming out where we're going to have some hotkey driven resets and hotkey driven decrease values. So you don't have to go into the text files as well as just setting these up as win only and loss only. So as always, don't hesitate to get in contact with us if you have any questions. We really hope you enjoy this product. Thank you.